I'm finally doing it. I'm starting tech. Bro, start with Network Plus. It's the bad bone of IT. Nah, nah. Security Plus is where it's at. You can be a hacker. Man, what do I do? This is so overwhelming. You ever felt like that? Yeah, you're not alone. This is one of the most common questions that I get. JR, should I start with Security Plus or Network Plus? Today, we're breaking it all down, using the latest versions of both certs. We'll talk about what they cover, the key differences, and how to choose the right one for you. So let's go. Hey, I'm JR, an IT professional, career mentor, and the creator of the Tech Type Framework. I help people like you to break into tech with help and confidence. Now, if you need here, I got a full series of videos to help you get started in tech, including a free tech 101 course. And I also have a guide on how to choose your IT path using my custom framework. But today's video is all about to answer one critical question that you might be having yourself. Security Plus or Network Plus? Or Network Plus or Security Plus? All right, first thing first. What even are these certs and what they actually cover? Network Plus N10-008, as of this recording, is the recent version. But honestly, they change just a little bit every few years. So you see in this video in the future, it covers pretty much the same thing. It doesn't change that much. So it focuses on foundational network concepts, covers troubleshooting, cabling protocols, IP addressing, routing, and security basics. There's no formal prerequisite, but CompTIA recommends 9 to 12 months of experience. As always with CompTIA, they're vendor neutral, and that means that it's not tied to like a specific brand like Microsoft, AWS, Cisco, or anything like that. Security Plus, that's the SY0-071 or something. It's an entry lever cybersecurity cert. It covers risk management, threat analysis, access control, cryptography and incident response. Not required prerequisite officially, but it does assume that you understand the basic of networking. Now, before we continue, let me clarify something real quick. Both of these certs are entry level certs. One focuses on networks and the other one in security. But let's be honest, they're not beginning friendly. I'll come back to that in a bit. Now, here's where a lot of people get confused. Security Plus just sounds more exciting. Cybersecurity, cool tools, hacker vibes. And to be fair, there are way more flashy YouTube videos out there for Security Plus. But what beginners don't realize is if you don't understand networks, you're not going to understand security. At least that's what they say. Now, for me, that actually was not the case. I took Security Plus before Network Plus. Why? Because my job required it. Now, working under the government, you fall under 8570 DOD framework. And Security Plus was the baseline for IAT level 2. If you don't know what that is, don't worry. I got a video coming that will break that down. But for now, I do have a few Gov Tech videos. I talk about the hiring process, how to find these jobs, and the cert requirements. I'll link them right here in the screen and I'll pin it in the comments so you can go check those out and maybe learn a little bit more about GovTech. Bottom line, if you're trying to get into government or any DOD related tech job, Security Plus is the starting line. So I took it, I passed on my first attempt, letting down the road I was going to a university called WGU and Network Plus was one of the requirements for their program. So I circled back to go and take Network Plus. Now, let me be honest with you, Network Plus was way harder than Security Plus, at least for me. Now I get it, they're built on each other, but man, Network Plus for me, it was a beast. Now maybe that's just me and networking is really not my thing, but here is why they feel so different. Think of Network Plus like driver's ed. You learn how the road works, how to stay in your lane, what to do when the engine lights comes on. Now think of Security Plus like becoming highway patrol. You're just not driving anymore. You're monitoring traffic, catching speedsters, enforcing the rules, and protecting the system. Maybe that wasn't the best analogy, but hopefully you get what I mean. Now, can you skip Network Plus and jump straight to Security Plus? Sure, why not? I did it. But in theory, it's like trying to guard a house when you really don't know how to lock the windows or even how the alarm systems work. Now, I say in theory, because for me, it worked just fine. But the right answer is they're designed to build on each other. 
So which one should I start first? Network Plus, Security Plus? I'll be honest with you, that's not the real question. The real question is, do you understand the fundamentals? Because neither of the certs are actually beginner friendly. Yes, they say entry level, but that doesn't mean easy. If you never touch a router, never heard of a subnet, or can't tell me what a port or a protocol is, then you don't need to choose yet. You need to learn the basics first. Once you've done that, then you can make an informed decision and just do what you need to do. So if you're aiming for help desk, IT support, infrastructure, Network Plus will give you practice skills that you use every day. Now, if you're targeting cybersecurity, especially for governments or contractors, Security Plus is often required because of that DOD 8570. It is now called the 8140, that framework that I talked to you about. But either way, don't rush the cert unless you actually have to build that foundation first. That's why I created a free tech 101 course right here on this channel to help you learn exactly that. The concepts you need before jumping into the certifications. So if you're feeling overwhelmed, you're not alone. I got you covered. Now let's talk about what employers actually want. Let's just be real here. Most job listings, they want both with a little bit more on the Security Plus side, I think. Security Plus is very famous in a lot of employers and HR offices. They just list Security Plus as a requirement. But like I mentioned, help desk and those entry levels, Network Plus can kind of set you apart from everybody else. And of course, if you're pursuing cybersecurity or any, you know, maybe even system admin, Security Plus is actually the way to go. So it's just, it depends. It's just those little nuances that they are out there. So if you already completed the fundamentals, you done hands-on labs, you watch some deep dive content, or maybe you have experience in tech, then you can just skip the guesswork and just go to one that actually aligns a little bit better what you're trying to pursue. But here's the thing, if you are still unsure, or even doesn't know what direction you want to go in tech, that's not a cert problem, it's a direction problem. So go check out my video of the tech type framework that I created recently. Take the quiz, it is free and it's fast, and this will help you figure out what roles or what path actually fits you. I'll leave the video right here somewhere and a link in the description below. Now let's just say that you want to study both. Should you do that? You absolutely can. A lot of people actually do that. But here's a smarter play. Study Network Plus concepts, even if you don't take the exam. Just understanding how network works will make Security Plus way easier. Then you can dive into Security Plus. It builds on those concepts and open doors to GovTech and cybersecurity roles. Now, if you're in a tight budget, choose based on your target job. If you got more time and money is not an issue, doing both gives you a serious competitive edge. And no matter what path you choose or certification you choose, don't just study to just pass the certification. Do labs, practice, explain it, just dive full in it. Because at the end of the day, the certs doesn't get you higher, the skills do. Or maybe it will get you higher, but if you don't have the skills, you might get fired. I, I don't know, something like that. So at the end, Network Plus or Security Plus, the real answer is just depends on you your starting point and where you want to go if you got the fundamentals locked in just pick one that matches what you were trying to do if you don't then pause get those fundamentals and don't worry that's what i'm building this tech 101 course to help you simple clear no fluff right here in the channel and coming out soon now i want you to know there's a path for you and i want to help you find it without wasting time money or motivation. I will leave all those tools that I mentioned pinned in the comments. Now I wanna hear from you. Which cert are you leaning towards and why? Have you already taken one of them? What was your experience like? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I actually replied to everyone. And if this video helped you at all, give a like, hit that sub button, and turn on the bell so you don't wanna miss what's next. You got this, see you soon. JR out.